Today's Bible study is titled Salvation Before to After. Often it takes years for a believer to finally understand what is shared below. And yet such understanding is vital if a believer is to live in their true identity in Christ. Before salvation you were in union with sinful Adam, for as in Adam all die. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 22 Everything that was true of Adam was true of you. Even though the payment for your sin had already been made, you stood in condemnation, pending your belief and faith in the gospel of the grace of God, Acts 20, verse 24. Salvation, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, where I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 1 and 3 to 4, And for I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10, you were saved or can be in simple belief of the gospel by grace through faith. You rested from your own puny efforts and instead rested in the completed work of another Jesus Christ. At salvation, Holy Spirit baptized you into the body of Christ, no water, taking you out of union with sinful Adam and placing you into union with Christ. You are a member of his body of whom he is head. Now everything that is true of Christ is true of you. Before you can move on in continued simple belief growth, you must first rest in the truth of the security of your salvation in Christ. Thereafter, growing in grace continues by resting in further truths of your new identity union in Christ. For the living thereafter, as ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him rooted and built up in him, established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Colossians 2 verses 6 to 7. You receive Christ Jesus the Lord in simple belief of the gospel by grace through faith, and the walk in him thereafter is to be after the same fashion. Example, continuing to learn truths from the word beyond salvation and security truth regarding your new identity in Christ and coming to rest it. Belief in same. So if you aren't in the word rightly divided, there can be no growth. And you should position yourself with faithful believers who can handle rightly divide their Bibles and continue that teaching with thanksgiving and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 And the key to realizing all of this is simple rested belief of the truth of God's word to you by grace through faith. Thank you for listening to today's Bible study.